Welcome to the video series on Research Methods and Analysis by Data and Research. In this video, we will learn about one-way ANOVA, how to do it using SPSS and how to interpret the result. We can do one-way ANOVA if the independent variable is in the nominal or ordinal level of measurement or are categorical in nature with three or more categories. For instance, imagine we are doing research in a sample from three different tribes. We plan to find out if three tribes are different in their positive effect. Before doing the analysis, we have to make sure that the data is normally distributed and the three groups are homogeneous or equal in their variance while considering the distribution of the positive effect scores. Consider these as the curves of the distribution of the scores of each of the three groups. These are the mean and variance of the distribution in each of the three groups. While doing ANOVA, the first thing we are concerned with is the variance in the distribution of the positive effect between the groups. The second important thing we consider is the variance of the distribution of the positive effect within the group. ANOVA's coefficient is represented by F which is equal to between group variance upon within group variance. ANOVA is a distribution dependent test or parametric test with these assumptions. Using one-way ANOVA, let us see if the null hypothesis tribe 1, tribe 2 and tribe 3 do not differ in positive effect. We will do the analysis using SPSS. This is the data view of SPSS. We have four variables here, tribes, gender, age and positive effect. Among these, we are concerned with two variables, tribes and positive effect. Here we can see tribes categorized into 1, 2 and 3. While doing the analysis in SPSS, we will choose the tab Analyze, then Compare, Means, and then One Way ANOVA. A small window will appear. Our variables are here. We will shift positive effect to the dependent list and tribe to the factor list. If we check options, a new window will appear. Here we will get options to check descriptives and the test of homogeneity. Continue. If we check post hoc, a new window will appear with a range of statistical tools on post hoc analysis. As I assume that my data is homogeneous in distribution, I am checking two key. Then Continue. Then click OK. And the output is here. Just below the descriptives, we can see the table on test of homogeneity. Below that, an over table. And below that, two key post hoc analysis or pairwise comparisons. Among these, I am copying the table on test of homogeneity and pasting it in an Excel sheet removing the degrees of freedom and copying the rest this is the table of levin's test on homogeneity or equality of variance levin's f score is 1.41 and p is 0 0.249 which is greater than 0 0.05. That means there is no significant difference between the groups in their variation of the distribution from the mean. Hence, there is a homogeneity of variance or equality of variance. Going back to SPSS output, this is the table on descriptives. I am copying descriptives from here, pasting it in the Excel sheet, removing the information which I do not want to show in the table, making some modifications adding columns for F and P 
copying ANOVA table from the output view, pasting it in the Excel sheet, adding the information of F and its significance or P, making necessary modifications. and copying it this is the ANOVA table our null hypothesis is tribe 1 tribe 2 and tribe 3 do not differ in positive effect we will have to accept the null hypothesis if p is greater than 0 0.05 and reject the null hypothesis if p is lesser than 0 0.05 this is f the coefficient that shows the difference between tribe 1 tribe 2 and tribe 3 in positive effect and this is p or probability which shows if f is significant or not p is lesser than 0 0.05 so we will have to reject the null hypothesis referring to the mean and standard deviation tribe 2 is the highest in positive effect tribe 1 is higher than tribe 3 in positive effect altogether there is a significant difference between the three groups in positive effect here is the SPSS output for Tukey post hoc analysis. I am copying it, pasting it in an Excel sheet, removing the information which I do not want to show in the table. This is the table. While comparing tribe 1 and tribe 2, the mean difference of the positive effect between the participants from tribe 1 and tribe 2 is 1.33. Probability is 0 0.722, which is greater than 0 0.05. We have to accept the null hypothesis here because there is no significant difference between tribe 1 and tribe 2 in positive effect. Now, while comparing tribe 1 and tribe 3, the mean difference is 5.2. P or probability is less than 0 0.05. We have to reject the null hypothesis here because there is a significant difference between tribe 1 and tribe 3. We already looked the difference between tribe 1 and tribe 2. Comparing tribe 2 and tribe 3, the mean difference is 6.53. P or probability is less than 0 0.05. We have to reject the null hypothesis because there is a significant difference between tribe 2 and tribe 3. This we already referred. This also we already referred. Hope you enjoy doing one way ANOVA. If you have any questions, suggestions or recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.